Hello friends. Gardening is a great hobby and in present times it works as a great stress reliever for many. Many of us uh, take the hobby of gardening but very few continue with it. One of the main reasons people discontinuing it is lack of success in their gardening journey because of certain silly mistakes they do when it comes to gardening. We will quickly discuss the top 6 gardening mistakes and how to tackle them in kitchen gardening one by one. Stay tuned. First mistake is soil selection that is attempting to grow high quality plants from a low quality soil. You cannot expect to have amazing food with uh, without an amazing soil. Plants may grow but might look overall unhealthy and the yield might reduce. Especially in vegetable gardening preparing a healthy soil is very important. There is a separate uh, video on this that is uh, best soil for plants vegetable gardening and uh, best soil for seed germinations in my coming series second mistake is poor sunlight sunlight is very important for photosynthesis and improperly placing your plants or impro- improperly choosing your garden location can affect your plants as a general rule plants need to receive the maximum amount of sunlight possible at least 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight on a day Uh, of course there are certain plants that actually prefer shade over direct sunlight but in general for food producing plants that is for kitchen gardening or vegetable gardening plants require an abundance of sunlight third mistake is poor timing planting the wrong plants at the wrong times of the year similar to human beings like uh, some of us love hot weather others prefer it cool similarly some plants thrive in summer heat while others perform best in the cool weather making sure to the you know, to plant the right plant at the right time of the year it's critical to gardening success so before seeding or uh, planting first gain some knowledge about that plant then coming to the fourth mistake uh, that is over watering the rule of thumb on watering is to water deeply but infrequently newbie gardeners tend to be better at the first part of this uh, thumb rule but not the second part it's a good idea to fill the soil with water for your plants but after that you should not water unless the soil becomes dry here again few points to remember are uh, some plants need very less watering like those the, that store a lot of moisture within them for example aloe vera the adenium and also uh, the succulent plants then secondly the water requirement is different for an established plant with a deep root system and then that for uh, the new seedlings that require frequent watering fifth mistake is over fertilizing like poisoning the plants instead of uh, nutrient supplementation if you do not have any idea on the use of uh, inorganic fertilizers or the synthetic fertilizers like npk fertilizer you better use organic ones like uh, the compost it is often a good idea to apply less than what the fertilizer package recommends now coming to the last mistake that is related to pest control pests need to be identified and eliminated carefully failure to control the pests like aphids white flies mealybugs cutting worms horn worms etc can cause heavy damage to your plants then lastly some other minor mistakes uh, that are often committed are not performing proper pruning then planting invasive plants close to other plants then underwatering then killing useful insects like uh, the helpful pollinators with the uh, overuse of pesticides that's all in this video folks see you in my next episode happy gardening